What's up guys? You know, over the past year, I've created a little bit of a, a vinyl record collection. And go figure, uh, seemingly finding out that vinyl is coming back in style little by little. A lot of newer artists are putting songs out on vinyl again, putting records out on vinyl again. And, you know, just sitting here listening like Friday nights, I have my own little record player in my room. I think I've decided that vinyl is my favorite format for music. And here's why. Now, me, I've been doing music for years. So, you know, I really have a little bit of an ear of, you know, what I like to hear. And with vinyl, you get such a different sound than you do for digital media. And that's because vinyl is an analog sound. So what's recorded in the studio, all those sounds, all those mixes, is exactly what's pressed onto the record. Aside from vinyl being interesting, because let me pull out a record I have in my hand right now. Um, it's just really interesting as to how the technology works, because pretty much this is a material that has sound built into it. I mean, so does a CD, right? So does a cassette. But it's, I don't know, it's just a little different to me. And vinyl produces a sound, uh, even technology-wise, with a higher dynamic range than what's available on a cassette and what's available on a CD. So it's really cool that, you know, you just hear so much more on a vinyl record. A lot of the times for vinyl, artists put out different mixes of tracks that are on CDs and stuff. So you hear more background vocals, you hear more harmonization, and it's just really, really interesting to me. I mean, I grew up with a record player, right? In my old house back in the day, we had this whole, um, it was like a surround sound system, it had a turntable, it had a cassette deck, and we had these two like giant speakers. And then, you know, as I grew up, CDs were what was cool. I had some cassettes too. But now looking back at it a couple years ago, I was like, you know, I kind of want to get into vinyl. And I, it, I was just kind of like a spur of the moment thing. I didn't really know if there were any advances. I've, I thought it was an old technology. There'd be a lot of uh, downfalls to it. And boy, was I wrong. Uh, the fact that physical media is becoming a thing again. I mean, you guys have seen my game collection. I'm not a big fan of digital stuff. I like to hold stuff in my hands. I like to know it's a thing. And like right now, let me show you the three vinyls I brought out for this video alone. Uh, Queen, A Night at the Opera, which is, you know, the album that has Bohemian Rhapsody on it, which you guys know is one of my favorite songs of all time. Um, Bone Thugs and Harmony, E 1999 Eternal, which everyone knows Bone Thugs and Harmony is my favorite hip hop group of all time because they're just so almost underrated to the extent where a lot of people don't really recognize them for how good they are. And then this one, a little hit from my childhood, Shaggy's It Wasn't Me, which took a while for me to track this down on vinyl, which is cool, man. Uh, I love vinyl records, right? It's just, it's something different. It also helped me relate to my parents a little bit more because it was something that we could both relate on that I'm into it now. That's what they grew up on. It was a little, you know, standing ground. Um, and in 2000, I think it was 15 alone, the study I read said that vinyl records for the first time in about 20 years were selling as much as they did in like 1997. So, I mean, the resurgency is kind of cool. And I think a lot of it's because, um, a lot of kids these days only grew up with digital media. They grew up with the MP3s, CDs if they were lucky. And now they're discovering that music used to come on this big medium. So people went out. I've seen a lot of record stores popping back up again, and uh, even supermarkets, like where I bought my record player, they're selling record players and 8-track machines too, for that matter. It's interesting. Um, but it's really cool that the old saying, what's old is new again, and that's exactly what vinyl's doing. Uh, Taylor Swift's putting her albums out on vinyl. I know, I think Kid Cudi's putting his stuff out on vinyl. I wouldn't be surprised if everything you hear... I'm like Hot 97 or Power 105, the hip-hop stations in my area. A lot of that's probably coming out on vinyl. I mean, I bought uh, the Dr. Dre Compton soundtrack, his last album that came out in 2014 or 2015. It's a whole vinyl thing. The other thing uh, I love is that the sleeves. A lot of the times you can open up these sleeves and it gives you like custom artwork, as you see down here. It gives you all the songs. This actually gives you the lyrics of the songs. It's just like a really cool, like, book almost that, you know, we don't get things like this anymore where nowadays everyone tries to be more compact. And with vinyl, if you have a vinyl collection, 
it's going to take up a lot of space, obviously, because it's they're big sleeves. I mean, they do have the little 45s, which are about a quarter of the size, maybe, of an actual record, which I have a few of them. I'm looking at my Run DMC Walk This Way one right now. Anyway, someday I'll do, like, a little rundown of my record collection. But, uh, yeah, over the past year, vinyl's definitely become my favorite form of medium, just as a medium, and uh, as a source of music, too, in general, because of the range of, like, the vocals and the songs and... Pretty much everything you hear, you get more than you would on a digitally compressed uh, CD. And that's, as I mentioned, because vinyl is pretty much a one-to-one -one recording of what the artist recorded in the studio without any digital enhancements. So even any, like, little defects that were recorded, any little obstructions, you're going to hear those. And it's kind of awesome because it's almost pure to an extent, guys. Um, if you guys have never checked out vinyl records, definitely go check them out if you guys have a collection. Let me know. Um, let me know what your favorite, I guess, audio format is and why in the comments below. As always, guys, like this video. Go check out my other videos. Thank you for subscribing. Or thank you for watching. And if you haven't subscribed, go subscribe. And as always, you guys have a great day.